Hello everyone, welcome to this brand new video. Today we are going to unbox a new Nike Jordan. So let's get right into this video. So let's zip it open and let's try to just zip it open the right way uh, because odd times the pull tab just um, breaks. So let's go. All right, so here we have the box. And um, it's pretty spacey one. So this size tag says Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Fold Black Sill in size US 10. The box says they can't wear them, they can't, I really don't know what to say. So you've got your typical Nike Jordan box, except there are totally different colors and there's text all over the box. So the Nike branding is actually in this fold color, but let's see how this sneaker looks. We are first created with special paper and you can see the shoe through there. So you've got your special wrapping with the same text as the rest of the shoe. And here you have the shoe itself. Here we have the shoe itself. And as you can see, it's actually all over the same color. But let's break this shoe down. Okay, so the first thing before we even going to look into the shoe is the tongue there is something wrong with it because it just yeah it's very stiff if you look at the other one it's not it, it just keeps in place and this one just it's a uh, top-notch nike quality control but let's break this shoe down shall we let's start at the bottom you have got your typical nike air jordan one sole and black with a sail midsole so for the mudguard you have Got your fold color in this cracked leather. Same goes for the eyelets and this panel and for the heel as well. The other paneling are a white grayish color. The Nike swoosh itself is in black. Same goes for the Air Jordan logo and this uh, back part. The tongue is in gray with a full Nike label. So it comes with two pairs of laces. It comes with this black grayish pair of laces and a white light gray pair of laces. And it comes with a warning that says, please note natural cracks seen on the upper is normal due to random crackle ink application. So that means that like every shoe is different and they are uh, natural cracks. A little backstory on the shoe. This shoe is actually a successor on the Nike Jordan 1 Rebellionaires that released a couple of months ago. I actually, and this is my opinion, like the Rebellionaires better because it's much, much simpler color combination. <clears throat> the shoe itself is out there and it's not that simple, but the color combinations are much more simple. This is like really Nike just experiments with several different colors and new colorways for their silhouettes that are totally different from their normal successor colors like the Chicago Red. So this one, yeah, I just don't know. I think I'll have to see how these look on the feet um, and decide if I want to keep them or not or if I want to return or sell them. You've got to like them um, and I just don't know. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think of this shoe. Um, I also posted these on my Instagram and these are the results uh, of what you guys are thinking of these. If you want to participate in those polls, give me a follow on my Instagram at It's a Tim. Consider to subscribe on my YouTube channel and uh, give this video a like if you liked it. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one.